Okay, I'm Draken, and this is the Draken Gameworks, and we are here with a tutorial for another airship, another small airship. This is the Explorer class. Now, the last one we did was for the Lightwing class. You remember it was like a little trade vessel with a single deck. This also has pretty much a single deck, but it also has a small cabin on the back. It's designed for exploration. It's a newer design that I've done. I quite like the balloon on this. It's a bit more oval in its shape, so it's got a bit more of that blimp structure to it. So it's going to be quite nice to do this one as well. And to do this one, I've done... I was doing in this week, I was doing like 24 of these on our unlock block server here that we share with several other people and hiding these airships around the server. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to do a tutorial on it. Um, so instead of seeing it around my base on the server, I actually thought I would show it off the tutorial by this wonderful base here, which is actually belongs to Sunny Spacecraft. Don't forget to check out our channel. It's down in the, uh, the links are in the description below. So go and check those out as well. But um, I thought I'd show it here and we'll show you how to build it down this area here. So, okay, right, let's go and find a spot to actually build this. Now I build these in survival. I like doing these tutorials in survival because it enables you to guys to see how we do it and how we put it together. I want to build it close to a base, but I still want a little bit of distance out. I don't want it to be sort of showing up all the time. And in fact, actually over here somewhere would be nice. I'm not going to put it on the island. I'm not going to, last time we did, um, the Lightwing class, we put the, uh, we extended up to the actual airship from a bit of land. I want to show you how we can do this at sea then instead. So if we want to build an airship out here in the middle of the ocean, what we can do is we can take uh, some of the kelp here and uh, not that, that we need the kelp. There we are. Thank you. And we can go down and we can build the kelp up. So there's some already here. So we can actually build this up a bit more. Further. You could wait for it to grow if you want to wait around here, but you can actually speed it up just by going down and adding bits of kelp yourself to the top here. Easy enough as like that. And then what we need to do is put a dirt block next to the top bit of the kelp there. And that gives us a block in the middle of the ocean that we can now work from. And then we can work up to the height that we need to be going to. So if we just rattle up. And remember, if we if you see my Lightwing tutorial, this is how we basically do it in survival and start building up where we need to. I'm gonna probably go up. I think we'll use one stack on this one. So we're not gonna be going up too far. Uh, maybe around about a hundred actually. We might not even use a full stack. We won't keep it as we won't put this one that high. There we go. Right. Okay. And then what we need to do is what I normally do is because I've got all my resources with me in shulker boxes. I'm going to create a little platform that I can put them all on. So I'm going to put. Uh, let's have a look. We got. Let's get rid of that kelp. We don't need all of that kelp anymore. And I've got three boxes here. One two and three actually only two of these have actually got resources in the other one's sort of carrying bits of extra um rockets and stuff and all the sort of general goodies that i need for actually getting around on the server okay and we need another piece then so where we've come up here where we've wrapped up here i'm going to put one more piece here and we have this kind of like off-centered t-pose here you don't have to do it exactly like this but i do find having where you've wrapped up if you come over one block when building this version it becomes quite handy because of what we're about to do next Okay, so we're gonna start building the base part of the ship. So we're gonna take some spruce planks, that's the full block, and we're gonna put one off the end here. Uh, if you're not using planks, you can use two slabs as well. I tend to do that a lot, but here at the moment, I'm gonna be using planks. And once we put it down here, if we say this is towards the back of the ship this way, we're gonna come back another five blocks. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then we want one block going out at the front here. And we're gonna make a bit of a cross shape. So we're gonna come back from one from the back here, and we're gonna put one there, and we're going to put one on the other side there. So we get this sort of kind of elongated cross shape there. Next, we're going to take out the single piece of dirt that we had here that was holding our dirt bridge over to here. And then we can now actually extend with just slabs. These are top slabs. We put them on the top one here. We're going to bring them all the way down there. And then we're going to put one in the front here, I believe. Uh, two actually in the front there. So we're going to bring it across and across here. So it's going to become like a bit of a rectangle. We're filling into a rectangle just across like so. And there. And then we're going to put two at the back here. And we do get this sort of rectangular shape, which seems a bit odd because normally we want to try and create a bit of a shape on these. But it will take its shape in a minute on this one in a second. We're going to need some dirt. We're going to need these as temporary blocks. We're going to put one at the front of the ship here, one here, one there. So we get this sort of free pattern across the front here. Then we're going to come back by one and we're going to put another one here and another one here. And then sticking with our slabs a second, we're going to come up to here with the spruce slabs, put one on there. And then we're going to put another dirt block right beside it. So we get this pattern here and a dirt block here. And then because we've done that, we can now reach around the side here and we can put another one up on the top slab here. So we're getting this sort of upwards diagonal starting to form here. Want one more temporary dirt block just here, and this is where we're going to start bringing in our dark oak. 
So we're going to use the dark oak to create the railing around the outside. So where we've built these temporary dirt blocks here, we are just going to put one upside down stair there, another one just there. We're going to do the same on the opposite side, one there and one there. And then this last one that we built put up here just a minute ago, we're going to turn around and put one on either side here, like so. Then we're going to switch out to the dark oak slabs and we're going to put one on there and we can put another one matching that on the other side there as well. Then next to these stairs, we're going to put them down there and there. And then on the opposite end here, we're going to use two more, just one on the end of each of those. And with that all in place, like so, we need one more up here, which we can put on the front of the ship. And then we can get rid of all of these temporary blocks. We can just, I always use dirt because again, it's just easy to get rid of. And I'm not so worried about if we lose them and they all fall into the ocean and they despawn, it's not so much of a problem. Next, we're going to need to build the battle sprite. So we're going to be sticking with the dark oak slabs a second. We're going to put a piece of dirt here. I'm going to bring it up by one and we need to raise up by one, then come back by another two, go up by one, come back by another two and go up by one. And I think we come back by another one, if I remember rightly. Yep, we come to there. And then we're going to basically put a diagonal of um, these slabs coming up here. So we're going to put one on the bottom there, one on the top, another one at the bottom there, another one at the top, one at the bottom and another one not up there into that bit there that's the proper place and that puts that into location there then we need to come back by a couple and then what we're going to do is we're going to put the um actual uh, bit of rope rigging that's going to turn around and hold the front of the ship and we're going to put it in now normally when i do airships i do this at the end or the rigging but this piece of rigging at the beginning i find actually helps because later on it gets a little bit more difficult to actually put it in place and what we're going to do is take birch fence and we're going to put one there and bring it back by two we're going to put one on top and come back by another one. And then just need to bring us back a little bit further. I'm going to go up and we're going to rise this up by another three. So one, two, and three. And there we are. That puts that in place. It looks a bit out of place at the moment, but it will make sense once we put the balloon in a bit later. But we can get rid of these temporary blocks here. And we come back all the way back down. And that one there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come off the end of this side. And we're going to build some more dirt blocks here. So we're going to come back a couple across. We don't need to go all the way out, just far enough that we're going to be able to reach underneath these because we're going to need to put a couple of lanterns underneath. So we're going to put one lantern just sitting under there quite nicely from the top there. And if we come back here and you aim at the back of this slab here, we can put it there and it's going to attach it underneath this slab here as well. So we've got the two there. Then we can also get rid of these temporary blocks as well. They're no longer needed. We only need them to get out to do the lanterns. Then we can pop one lantern here and we're going to put another lantern here and that's going to put those into position either side there and then we're going to come back and we're going to build the cabin at the back here so if we put those away and we're going to grab perch stairs and we're going to put these upside down we're going to start with this dark oak slab here and we're just going to put them upside down coming all the way to the back there's three there when we get to the back we're going to face towards it and put one there that's going to make it into like an upside down corner stair here and then we're going to just come across the back here put them there and we're basically just encasing the back here like so then come to the side there that's going to make it into a corner stair again and then we're going to come across like so and then we need oak stairs because we're going to put in the stairs that are going to go across the front of the cabin so just one space in front of the dark oak there one space back from here we're going to put there a oak stair come the other side put an upside down one on the opposite side gives it this nice little diagonal underneath then we're going to put one more on top there and one upside down on the back of that one as well so it's going to create a nice little sort of stairs that will take us onto a little sort of rooftop above the cabin itself that will appear in a minute. Then down the sides here, we're going to put a stair here and another one here in the right way up. And we're going to need some glass. And you want glass blocks of this. We put one there. We're also going to put one in the middle there. And we're also going to put one opposite this one over there. So they're all in position as well. We're also going to need some oak blocks themselves, oak panels. Oak panels, oak planks. Yeah, there we are. So we're going to have one oak plank there. Then we're going to alternate it with a stair and another stair on the other side of the glass and another block there. And then we're going to come forward and build another two just there, two stairs there. Then we need down in the front here to help create the doorway. We're going to, where we've got the space here, we're going to put one of the birch planks and on top of that, another oak plank. And that's going to start encasing this area here. Then we're going to need to put in eight oak slabs just put those on the top there. So at the top of the stairs, put one there and one over here. And then we're just gonna connect them up and cover it up. And you should have a bit of a pattern, uh, not quite there. I'm gonna grab that one. We'll come back up, I'm sorry, let's put it in the wrong place. We'll put it here, across the back here. So it should cover it all up. You'll have sort of six at the back here. And then we've got two at the front here because there's gonna be a gap here where we've got the stairs going up. And that's perfect, just like that. 
Then we need to put the fencing around the side here. Because it's only a small ship, it's only got a small fence here, but I'm going to use acacia, uh, acacia trapdoors here. And you're going to basically look towards the actual, um, the top of the roof here when you put it off the side here. So I'm going to put two there. And I'm going to put three along the back here. And we're going to put another three along the side here. And then at the front here, we're going to just stick them on the front here. And then once you've got them in position, we're just going to flip them into the upwards position, like so. And that can then create like a little mini fence around the side there. It's not fully massive, it's just there to give you a little bit of protection around the side there. Next, we're going to do the internal cabin itself. We're going to decorate the cabin up on this one. So we're going to take, um, we're going to need a painting, we're going to need some uh, chests here. So what we'll do is underneath the stairs, I'm going to put two chests in there just to create a double chest in the corner there. I'm also going to put a lantern just above there. I'm also going to make a little bit of a desk at the back there. I'm going to do that with a spruce trapdoor and we're going to aim it at the top of that block at the back there so it sits just underneath the window there. We're going to need to put a door on here as well, uh, which I've actually forgotten to pick the door up from my shoulder boxes over here. So let's go and see where I've put them. There they are. Okay, so to put this door into place, if we come in here and I'm going to aim at the bottom of this block here. So you see where the stair is here. We're going to aim there and we put click and it's going to put it in an open position like this rather than the closed position. So technically what we're doing there is zombie proofing. It's a big tip for you if you're doing Minecraft. If you actually put the door, if you set the door down so it's open rather than closed when you do it, which you've got to do by standing to the side, it then puts it in the reverse pattern, which makes it mean that when it's closed, zombies won't attempt to break this door down, which preserves your doors a bit longer. Um, not so important up on this airship. You could just put it straight down if you wanted to, but because uh, you're not going to get zombies spawning up here, but it's just a force of habit that I have from the game. Um, and then finally, we're going to put a bed in here and we're going to put a little painting just above the bed there as well. It makes it nice and cozy inside the cabin. Bit, uh, bit cramped, but uh, you know it's not meant to be massively uh, luxurious on board there as well. But that's the cabin built at the back here then as well. We're missing two other bits though, and that is we need to put in a spruce fence there and a spruce fence there and we are going to put on top of those a lantern each as well which gives us our lanterns at the back and I'm going to take another spruce fence and put it at the front here take a bit of dirt pop it just in between these two slabs here and then we're going to take a oak uh, log put it on the top there we are then going to strip it using our axe uh, that's going to put it into a stripped oak log and then we're going to take some levers and we're going to put the levers all the way around this. So I'm going to put one there, we're going to put one there, and then we're going to come down the side and we're going to put that into the other position. And this is going to form our wheel at the front of the ship. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do wheels on ships and stuff like that. That's the way I do it. I think there's a few other things that I've seen. Some people use like item frames or armor stands and stuff like that to recreate their wheel. But I like doing it that way. But obviously if you have a different way of doing it, feel free to do it that way. Okay, the next step is we're going to do the engine underneath. It's a single engine on this one, just like we did with the Lightwing class before. To get that one done, we're going to come to this block here, which this block is going underneath the actual ship itself. This is where we actually wrap it up because we already got the one that was beside it taken out. So we're going to take this all the way down. Well, not all the way down, but we're going to come down by a few blocks underneath here. And then we're going to extend backwards by a couple of dirt blocks here so that we can actually get underneath the ship and actually build the engine itself. So there we are, we'll bring that all the way back there. That should be more than enough. And then what we're going to need is we're going to need some actual spruce logs. So we're going to put one there and we're going to put this one as a normal spruce log. And then another one underneath, but this one we're going to strip with the ax. Then we're going to put a dirt temporary box here, a dirt temporary box. Uh, temporary box, temporary blocks would say the right thing right here, Draken. And then we're going to put on either side of this a redstone block as well. And then we're going to take our hatches and we're going to need some um, oak trapdoors and we're going to put them around here. I'm going to close the one on the bottom here and the same here. I'm going to get rid of this temporary block here as well because we're going to put a spruce one in the middle there. Let me just sleep and get us back to the daytime. We are on a server here, multiplayer server, so uh, we do have the full day night cycle. So I'm going to have to deal with that one as well. And we have Lady Bex there as well, who's just popped back onto the server. Right, okay, so we're going to pop over to here and we're going to pop in a temporary dirt block there and we're going to pop this here and that there so these are spruce trap doors um, I put two in there by accident we only want uh, one there on the side so that's going to create the sides there and the front there and then the back we're going to need to turn around and put in a piston facing away from here and that's going to create our um, propeller shaft at the back so we're going to take that and put it against there and you'll see it automatically because it's against a redstone block extend it out and we get our nice propeller shaft then we're going to get a spruce log 
and we're going to attach it onto the end there and we're going to strip that one down as well and that's going to give us the side bits here we're going to cover up this piston a bit here as well again with spruce trapdoors we're going to put one in there and close it and we're going to put another one there and that's automatically in its closed position as well then we need to probably put in start building the propeller blades at the back here so for that we need oak trapdoors again and I'm going to actually just come back a little bit further with the dirt just so I can actually get underneath it properly. I think one more should be sufficient. I'm going to put it underneath this block like so. And then if I click on it, I'll open it up and that puts it in the down position. Then I'm going to aim just at the bottom edge of here from this angle. And that should create the trap door facing away like this. And then I can close that one. And there we are. We have that in position. That's done a lot of the sides here, but we're going to need to do a lot more here. So to get onto it in survival mode, we're just going to use a couple of bits of dirt to come up to here to actually level with the piston itself. And I'm going to put on the side of the piston here. So we now have two connected over here. And we're going to come off the side here using shift to hold down towards the side so we don't fall off. We're going to attach the side of the piston shaft here, another two dirt blocks. And on the side fronts of these dirt blocks, we're going to put more of these actual trap doors like so and then we're going to close them and that's going to do the uh, the propeller blades to the side there we're going to come back by one we're going to use a temporary block come back by one and we're going to put one on top of there and then we're going to do the same again this is basically doing the opposite of what we did at the bottom there we're aiming at the top there and closing it off there then we can get rid of that temporary block there we're going to move around to the side here if you're very quick uh, and fast you can actually not even need to press shift you can just actually move straight from one to the other um, so you may want to do a little bit of a jump or something there. We can get rid of the two temporary blocks there because we don't need those anymore. We're going to come over to here and we're going to place another oak trap door on this side because we haven't done this side yet. And we're also going to put a spruce one there and close that one off. And then we're going to come to the top here. We're going to put one on there, a spruce trap door, and an oak there. So that's now fully encapsulated the back. And if we go put a dirt block here that will enable us to walk around to the front here. And we're going to basically do the same at the front here. So on top of this temporary dirt block, we're going to put uh, another spruce trap door. And then we're going to hang off the side here again. We're going to put one of those there and one of those there. Close that one. And then the last thing we need to do is actually get rid of this temporary block here because we don't need it. We're going to open up that front now and we'll have a nice little, little red glow at the front of the engine. And then we can come back across our blocks here, get rid of that temporary block. And then we can get rid of that one and back down here. And that's basically our engine done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get rid of all of these dirt blocks because we don't need them now. And including the one which we've used to actually wrap it up on here because I've got a Lytra I can fly back up. If you don't have a Lytra while you're building this, then you might want to keep this in place, These uh, this actual uh, stack of uh, dirt blocks in place until you have finished actually building the ship overall. And then you can use it to come back off the ship again. But if you've got a light trait, you might want to just take it out at this point and we're just going to drop back down now. And it's going to make it nice and neat. Okay, once we're back up on the ship, you might want to just put the dirt back into there so that we can actually get back over to our shulker boxes without falling off. And then we can actually go and get the materials for the next bit. Okay, with the engine built, we're now going to build the actual balloon and mast up in the center of the ship. There's only a single mast on this one. So in this space here, actually between the two sort of entrance ways and just behind the wheel, we're going to put one spruce log here. Don't need to strip that one. You can just keep it as normal. And then we're going to put another four, but these ones are all going to be stripped. So we're going to jump up as we go on top of it, as we're doing it in survival. So we're just going to jump up in place and we're going to do this four times like so. And you should now have one at the bottom, which isn't, and then four that is. Some people like to use barrels instead of using a log at the bottom there. It's just to represent that it's actually been tied to the deck. So there's a little uh, tip there. Depending on your style of choice, you can do it that way. But now we're at the top here. We're going to take some spruce slabs. I'm going to set these as top spruce slabs here, coming off the side here to create a bit of a T-bar going across the side. Here. We're going to do one that side, not towards the back there. That was in the wrong place, but one to this side. We can get rid of this one here. Thank you. And now we have this little T-bar coming across the front here. Then we're going to take green wool. I'm doing it in green wool. You can do this whatever color you like to have your balloon at the top there. Same as any of the woods here. If you want to change the wood colors, you can do so. Just do it wherever you like. I'm going to do it in the design here that I normally do my airships in. You're welcome to change the patterns and everything else and just try and keep the general shape. But I'm going to stick with that sort of thing here. So I'm going to put five green wool going across the top of the bar here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come forward by four more blocks off the front here. And I'm going to have five blocks towards the rear. So four towards the front, five towards the rear. One, two, three, four, and five off there. And then we're going to square this off. So we're just going to fill in the spaces until it gets to there. And we're going to do the same this side. And there. And then we're going to do the same at the front here as well. And that's going to put that to that one. And 
that one to there, which is perfect. And then on either side of the front here, we're going to come to here and we're going to come out another three. One, two, three. And then either side of this, we're going to come out two. So one, two, and one, two. So we get this shape here. So it comes two and then one from the side there. And we're going to repeat the same pattern at the back here as well. So we're going to come out by three. One, two, and three. And then we're going to put another two on either side of that uh, length that we just put in there. And that's going to put this actual bottom part in there. And then we're also going to put some stairs upside down on the side here as well. If I can actually remember to put them into my hotbar. There we are. So we're going to find where the mast is, which is just here. We're going to put it upside down there. And we're also going to put it upside down here. And that does the first row. And I just realized that we can actually, I realized I just put these in as upside down slabs. I've changed these just out quickly for stairs because I put them in the wrong bits there. But we're now going to do the next row. So we're going to put green wool coming across the top here. So we're going to extend this all the way along the side here, just hang off the side. And then we're going to come out by another two when it reaches level with this. So it's like this at the end. And we're going to do that on all sides, all four corners. So we're going to bring this all the way back to the edge here and then come out by another two. And we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side here, like so. And also at the front here, we're going to come out by one, two, three, four, and then out by another two. Then once we're back here, we're going to fill in the gaps here. And then we're going to come out by another two here, like so. And the same here on the inner bit here. So you can see it's coming in a little bit. And then we're going to fill in this space here in like a little U shape around here. So these are going to be a little four here and then put the gap in here. And then we're going to put another three on the front here, like so, and one on the front there. And that's going to give us our full pattern at the front there. And we're going to repeat and do the same thing at the back of the ship as well. Okay, with all of that in place, what we're also going to do is going to put some torches down as well, because we're going to need those inside the ship here. I'm going to put them every other space here, just down the center line. That's more than sufficient to actually light up the inside of the balloon once we've got it fully constructed to prevent spawning inside. So if you're not on a survival build, you're on a creative build, not so much of a worry. But if you're on a survival build like I am here, you're going to want to do that to prevent spawns from um, spawns, spread, prevent mobs from spawning inside the balloon. Right, before we begin the next row, what we're going to need to do is actually put in an upside down stair matching again the line we've done with the upside down stair before with the mask. I'll make sure we do use upside down stairs this time and not slabs. Right, okay, so that's in place there. Then what we're gonna need to do is two back from here on this one here, we're gonna put two there and then we're gonna need a little bit more there because I've run out in my hot bar. And we're gonna come out another two there and we're gonna do the same on this side, bring them up to there. Then I'm gonna put one there just temporarily so I can put one just in front of it hanging off the side here. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna just follow put it out, come by one, and we're just going to follow all the way around the outside here, just sitting off the front of the one that's below it there, which you can see the sort of kind of pattern that we get here, you can kind of get this like upside down extended U. And we're going to do the same on the other side here, and we'll repeat that at the back. Once we've done that, what we're going to do is going to come over to here, and I'm going to take free red wool, that's because we create a diamond in the middle of ours. If you don't have a diamond shape, if you're just keeping it a monotone color or just a two-tone color, you don't need to do what I'm doing here. But I'm going to put three red all here. And then we're going to fill in the green, filling up all the space all the way until it meets this one here, just hanging off the side. And the same here. Uh, not there. That's in the wrong place. I'm going to repeat that on the other side. And once again, we're going to put an upside down stair just there. And we're going to do the same on this side. And that puts that into place. And then we're going to take our red again. And we're going to actually create five across here now in the center there, like so. And we can do the same on the other side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the green coming off the side here and come out by another two. Then we're going to come in and do three there. And then we're going to do two. So you're going to come out two over the top there, then we're going to do three, then come into two. And off the front here, we're going to put a temporary one there and just do three at the front. We can take out the temporary one there. And then on the other side, do the same. So we've got two, and then we're going to have three here, and then this line is just going to come all the way. And you can see this line actually follows is in the same height as the other one. It's same, it doesn't go out by one on this side. It comes to that same sort of length. And we're going to do exactly the same at the back here. So we're going to come out by two, three and then two again and then just three hanging off the back.
Okay, with that bit done, we are then going to put in some spruce slabs. So at this point now, we're gonna start getting up to the point where we have like, there's a bracket that goes around the outside that keeps the whole balloon shape together. So what we're gonna do is put two slabs on there, or you could just use a full um, block of uh, panels there. And we're just gonna bring this all the way down. And we're just gonna keep these as top blocks and just create a, basically follow the curve of the ship itself all the way around. And then with that done, what we're gonna do is put another two blocks just here. Uh, no, actually wrong place, we need to be one over, right in the center of the ship, following the line of the trunks. I might have I use the correct one there as well. There we are, i get there eventually. And then we go down the front here as well. I'm gonna put a block just at the front here, another one on the opposite side, just there. And we're gonna put another one at the back there, like so. Okay, then we're gonna take our white. This is if you're doing a two-tone like I've been doing, though again, it depends on your colors there. And we're gonna follow the line of that one. And then we're gonna put one just here. And then we're gonna do two here, just coming a little bit over that spruce slab. Then we're gonna do three coming over to there like so. And if I actually we're just gonna follow the line like so over to here. And then we're gonna put an extra red one here as well. So we're gonna switch over to the red and this is the middle part. So this is gonna have seven across here. So we'll put three there and one there. And then we're just gonna repeat that same pattern going all the way around. So we're gonna come all the way down to here and then we're gonna put one there. We're gonna put two into there, like so. So that becomes a three. And then we're gonna put one into there as well. So like so. And then we're gonna put three across the back, one there, one, two, and three. And then we're just gonna follow this whole way across. And again, we're gonna put seven red on this side and then more here coming out by one like so in fact actually I got it wrong that side you can see I've actually got a little bit of an error there we'll go correct that in a second we'll come over here so we'll get rid of that one here it should be like that so the pattern should be one free and then it just follows the whole length then down there on top of this then we've got to make sure we're at the back of the ship because we're going to do the fins at the back end so we can just double check looking down there I'm going to put one here just filling in the gap here. And then we're gonna come out by one and then two. And then from this one, we're gonna come out by three. So it comes out a little bit further. Then we're gonna put another three here. Then we're gonna put two and then one. And this is gonna create the fin at the back of the shop, uh, back of the shop, back of the ship. <laughs> it's not a shop. Uh, and we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side there. So I'm gonna put one there and then come out by another two and then put three on there. And then at this point, we're just basically doing an upside down version of what we've already done with the rest of the balloon before. So we're gonna put another white layer coming over the top of here. We're gonna put three on top of there. This is gonna come back by two, like so on both sides. And then this is gonna come back by three here. And then you're gonna have that little bit of a gap there. It's gonna come over here. And then of course, we're making the diamond shape here. That was the widest part. So we're gonna come over it by one there. And we're gonna put five red back in the middle there as well, like so. And then we're just gonna repeat that same pattern all the way around the actual ship itself. Before we go on to the next layer, what we want to do is we want to get some more of our spruce slabs. And we're just gonna put them on the lower half of this one. This prevents uh, any spawns occurring on the brace if we put it on the lower side. And I'm just gonna do that, follow that all the way around the outside of the ship like we did with the, uh, the lower half of the brace. And I can see I've actually got a little bit wonky there. I actually missed one of the red ones there. I'm just seeing that from the other side. Let's get that one fixed. There we are, that's that sorted. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our spruce slabs, find the center point, and we're just gonna put one on top of there. And you can see that should be following in line with the mask there. And we're gonna do the same the opposite side. Okay, continuing on with our theme as we did before, we're gonna put three on top of here. 
and then we're going to bring this down and it's going to match again like the one that was in the same sort of equivalent below it. We're going to bring it all the way until we stop just too short of this one. Then we're going to put four down here, like so. I'm going to put a temporary one there and put that in place here. Take the temporary one out. And then we're going to turn around and build this across here. And should we just double check this? Is that what we're supposed to be doing? Yeah, I think we are. I believe, actually, no, we're going to come out across here. We're going to put two in there. It was wrong. And then we're going to put one across here. And now we're going to follow it all the way around. So we're just going to keep, we're going to build this sort of upside down U shape like we did on the bottom. Uh, and that's gone a lot too far over. There we are. Okay, so we should have this sort of shape at the front of the ship here. And then we're just going to put another four here. Need more white. There we are. And then remember, it's starting to back from here. We're going to come all the way down here. And this should be three on here. And then we're going to put more along the back here. And again, the same thing here. So it's two off the back there. We're going to put four at the back here. And just to show how we do this U shape again here, we don't actually need to do a temporary block. We can just put one there and one there. And then we can just follow it around making our U shape there. Or a bit of a wonky U shape, should we say. And then we're going to put another four there and just finish it off on this side. On either side here, we're going to put a normal stair as well, going that way around. And we're going to do the same on the other side, just following the mask, keeping the uh, the bracer all together. And what we're going to do then is on this row, this is now going to come in by one on the side here. We're going to be two in on that block there. And we're going to bring this row all in white. There'll be no red blocks here on this one all the way back like so until we connect to the other side and we're going to repeat the same on the opposite side okay with that in place now what we're going to do is going to come in and we're going to put from these two blocks put another two blocks coming in like so and then put another two blocks in front of it so we get four here and then another two blocks and we're going to do the same on the opposite side so we're going to put those into there and another two come at the back and in like that and then we're going to put one just here and we're going to put three on the back here sort of filling in the gap we got here and then one at the back here as well like so and we're going to do the same on the opposite side then we're going to take some normal stairs again and we're going to put one there and we're going to put another one up here because that's going to help us in a second and we're going to come around the other side here and we're going to put the same on the opposite side and then we're going to take our white wall and we're going to actually connect the two stairs. It's the easiest way to do it so you don't have to put any temporary blocks in. And then we're just going to basically fill in this gap here on this level. If you made it this far with the balloon, well done. It is the most complicated part is trying to get the balloon shape right. But we are nearly there. So we're just going to fill this all in now. Okay, and then with the top bit on, we're just going to put the top fin in. So obviously following the line with the other ones here, we're going to put one block at the back, back uh, one block at the back there. I'll say it again in English now. And then we're going to put another two up there. Then we're going to come up by three here and three there, and then two, and then one there. And that's going to create the fin at the back. We're also going to take some spruce slabs and we're just going to connect those stairs across there. So that's going to make sure that our mask comes all the way around here, holding the brace together. Now, finally, if you're on a creative server, you may think this is where you want to finish with the balloon. But if you're on a survival server, then there's one more step that is worth doing. And that is actually putting some carpet down across the top of the balloon. That's there just to basically stop any spawns occurring on the top there. It's also handy that if you, because of these balloons often at high altitude, that uh, is sometimes we build them quite high up. They're going to get hit by snow quite often, depending on the biome they're in. And so the carpet prevents the bi uh, snow from actually settling on top of the ship and covering your entire airship with snow as well. So all you're going to do is just basically match the carpet that's showing on the top side to the color below. There's only four that are actually, there should be only four exposed parts of the red. So we're just going to put four red carpet on top of those bits there. And on top of there as well and the rest of it's just going to be um, white carpet so we're just going to basically go around and just put white carpet on top of the fins there and also on the other side here like so and then we're just going to go around and we're going to put carpet on top of all of these bits going all the way around the ship itself
Okay, with the balloon now done, we're gonna come on to one of the final parts, which is the rigging. So we're gonna to come to the bit here where we've got the banister just here going in towards the cabin. We're gonna put two birch fences on there, and then we're gonna put another two in front there. And then we're gonna put on top of it another two. And we're gonna use the top of our shulker box we've got here to come out, and then another two on there. Using the final shulker box here, we're just gonna put a couple of bits of dirt up here, and then I'm gonna build another full dirt going across like so. And this is gonna make it a bit easier for me because it means I can just put four coming across here. I'm gonna put two on there and then two either side. And then I'm gonna put another four on top of this one, like so. And then I come out the front here and I'm gonna put another four in front of it, like there. And then we're just gonna connect these up with the up there. So we can actually literally just jump up and put those onto there. Just connect all four all the way down. You'll see where the mast is. It won't go all the way up. It's gonna to have to take two on there but that will get us onto that like so. And then either side of this, we're gonna put another two on either side, like one and two on there. And that then creates our rigging on the side. We can then get rid of all this dirt here. Okay, and with the rigging on that side done, we're gonna do exactly the same the opposite side. Obviously we haven't got any shocker boxes to use here, so we're just gonna use some dirt to create ourselves a little bit of a temporary platform coming out like so. And we're basically going to do exactly the same pattern. So there's going to be two there with two in front, then two coming off there with another two in front. Then we're going to bring this over here like so. And in fact, actually, we need to come up a little bit so we can actually see on top of it. There we are, that helps. And we're going to put one, two there, and we're going to do the same across here. So there's now four there. And then we're going to put another four on top of those and four in front. And then we're going to extend it up until it reaches the balloon above. And then we're going to put two on either end again, like so. I seem to have actually cut my bridge there, so we'll get that one back in place. We'll get rid of all the dirt. All right, so that's all the rigging in place. A couple of touches left to do, so we need to give the ship a name, IDAV. Conrad, as we're going to call this one. There is a reason for that. That'll be more clear if you've seen our video regarding the treasure hunt we're doing for the server. But that puts that into place. And then that's your ship done. You can take down the shulkers and this uh, dirt here, and that'll be completed. One other thing I like to do on this one is I'm actually giving all of these ships a captain. So I'm turning around and uh, using a bit of armor stand modding on the front here as well. So they've actually got uh, someone sitting on board the ship itself uh, observing out, so to speak. And there we go. It is now all completed. How's that? And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Explorer class, all built and done for you there, and showing you how to do it. I like the design of it, as I said. It's got a bit more of a blimpish shape to the balloon compared to the sort of more square shape we saw on the Lightwing class last time. Um, and I think in the future we'll do an Ira class tutorial as well. We did say before we we're going to do that one. It's just I came up with that design. It's sort of almost like an in-between the Lightwind and the Ira class. So I thought I'd get that one in here while we're here. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to turn around and put a, a like below and also to subscribe to the channel. And uh, don't forget to check out all our videos on the Arnold Block server because this is where we are at the moment. This is uh, Sunny Spacecraft uh, build that we're at, but uh, don't forget to check out all the guys on the, uh, the server there because they will do some fantastic work. In the meantime, I've been Draken. You guys take care. Have a good one. Bye.